guys, your favorite Kage, Enigma Kage, bringing yet another video. Check it, this is my third Community Talks video, the video where I interact and react to your comments. If you want to see more videos like these, please continue to be active in the comment section and of course, like the videos. So this time around, I asked you guys months ago, your opinion on R3 slash right stick. Is he legit or a bogus method? For those who don't know, R3 or right stick is a mechanic in Jump Force where you call in your team for a team awakening. At first glance, the mechanic sounds super badass, and it reminds you a little bit of the tag team melee mechanic in J-Star's Victory Versus. However, it's not. It's a flaw mechanic that is often abused by the toxic portion of the community for cheap, easy victories. Here's the thing. If you use R3, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you using it. However, we must acknowledge that the mechanic is bogus. I've seen other tubers outside myself often try to defend this method, and it's complete trash. I'll get to more of my feelings in a bit, but I want to hear from you guys. Starting off with Joshua Joestar. If they use R3 then combo right after, into an alt, that's bogus, because you can't escape out of it. I use it like a combo extender, right where they're about to die and they have no stamina at all. I also only use it if I've been garbage cheese the whole time, or playing like scum. Other than that, I don't spam it and I don't use it. Hmm, nice. I have no issues with how it's intended to be used, which is a combo extender of some sort. The problem, just like Joshua stated, you cannot escape, well, by normal means. Spike Trunks have added a vital mechanic and doesn't even explain why you cannot escape from the activation of this maneuver. Your gauges are locked and you're in the total mercy of your opponent. It's up to them whether they drop the bag or not. Spike Trunks have did add Awakening Escape because that was not originally in the game at launch. Thank goodness that it is because that's the only way to get out of R3 tech. This comes from JXX. I don't mind being r 3 as long as you're not abusing it. You can awaken out of R3. Only reason I use it is for combos, not really to keep the opponent from doing anything. Like I said earlier, R3 as an extender is cool. I've seen some awesome combos using Team Awakening method and trust me, it's definitely must watch. R3 is used strictly as a gauge locker in the community. High ranks use them and spammers use them as a crutch because let's face it, they aren't that good outside of the looping garbage combos they do. If I'm R3, I'm perfectly fine because now I know I have the right to do whatever and however I choose to. The rules apply to guard break cheese as well. You shoot first and I'll blow up your whole island afterwards. Equivalent exchange. Fun day, that's a pretty fun name says, I don't mind it if it's used to pull off a high damage combo in a scenario where I should be punished. However, the people that hit you with three lights and then use it to get off an all for free are annoying. If there were a list of things to update in season two, being able to escape R3 should be one of them, unless you already have used it, of course. Technically, we can escape using R3 of sorts with the Awakening Escape method. The problem with escaping R3 is that to escape R3, you need a fully awakened gauge versus doing R3, you just need to have more than 50% in your gauge. It's completely bogus and the full awakening gauge should work on both ends in my opinion. I'm totally fine with the punishes because that is what they are, but abusing a crappy mechanic then jumping on Reddit to boast about it makes you look pretty silly. Ah, a bit of controversy coming from Tendo fan. It locks your mobility gauge and energy meter. If that's the case, I don't think it's a big problem since you need to land a hit to trigger it anyway. And it doesn't last very long. Yes and no. Yes, it is escapable if you have your R3 in the tuck and or escape the first strike. No, because it's jump force and the response time with the input lag and all that good stuff is janky as hell. The second they hit you with a light, they immediately go straight into the awakening and now everything is locked with no explanation. No one else finds that weird that every debuff in the game has an indicator except R3. Little stuff like that makes the game feel super unbalanced at times. And I wish Spike Charles up cared just a little bit more. I'll end it off with this one from Afro Thunder. This is another mechanic that promises a great reward for no effort. Ultimately, that's what arena fighters are. They're meant to be mechanically easier games that allow players to recreate rewards from easier systems, which is what may differ from traditional fighting games. The mechanic is 100% available to all players, and it doesn't seem to go against any design philosophies of the developers, so it is fair. In my opinion, people cannot ignore game mechanics in the interest of being fair or respectful as a shield for losing to players who do use these mechanics.
Afro, I actually love this response because it is truthful. But at the same time, people could use this philosophy for guard break cheese since it's technically just heavy smash and a stun locking opponent. If it was a game breaking glitch, such as Togoro assist moving at double time, Sasuke Kanesuchi not being blockable, despite Trump's I would have made it priority to patch it. What I do 100% agree on is the notice of not holding back due to the tears of their opponent. There's no official rule that says you cannot guard break cheese or R3 in a match. It's just integrity between the community members. At some point, that integrity has to go out the window for the sake of the win. Tekken has Rage Arts, which is very new and mimics supers from Street Fighter. A lot of OG Tekken players refuse to use them even though it's not cheating. I think R3 in the wrong hands leaves a very bad taste in everyone's mouth. In closing, R3 isn't cheating, it's just lame. You can use it, there's nothing wrong with it. It's in the game to purposely be used as an advantage maker. I just wish Spike Chonso placed a gauge locking symbol or something to let the receiving player know that they're cooked. Also, adjusting that 50% versus 100% needed to R3 or R3 escape is a must. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and share this to a friend. I'm out of here, and as always, I'm Enigma, signing off. Peace, guys.